At this time, I would like to, uh, uh, to welcome our first witness, the Honorable Kathleen Merrigan. Ms. Merrigan is the Deputy Secretary of Agriculture at the USDA. Um, thank you for your, uh, for your attendance here today, and we look forward to hearing your testimony. You'll be recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you uh, to all of the committee members here today for holding a hearing on a topic that's near and dear to my heart. I know it's a very, very busy time with uh, August approaching, that you fit this into your schedules is really impressive, and I commend you for that. I appreciate the opportunity to testify today because of the importance of specialty crops and small family farmers to agriculture and our nation as a whole. These are exciting times, and this administration is moving forward on many fronts to revitalize rural America and improve the nation's access to healthy foods. And I want to provide a few highlights. Secretary Vilsack testified last week before the House Budget Committee on how our recovery funds are working. The Recovery Act is transitioning America from bad times to better times. These investments not only create jobs and economic stability, but also fund the technology and infrastructure that will lay the groundwork for future economic growth in rural America. Yesterday, just yesterday, the Secretary announced a $1.7 billion business and industry loan program money that's there to support business opportunities in hard-hit areas. These funds will be available until expended, and um, there's certainly a, a portion of that money that's going to be going to local and regional uh, food system infrastructure, and I think that's exciting. Earlier this spring, President Obama launched the rural tour with Secretary Vilsack, accompanied by other cabinet members. They've been out in rural America leading a discussion about how best to rebuild and revitalize rural America through green jobs, bringing broadband access, and improving rural health care. President Obama, as you know, has made a safe, sustainable, and nutritious food supply a central goal for USDA. He's very concerned about the health and welfare of America's children. The First Lady has also been very prominent talking about this issue. The, the President wants to make sure that children have access to nutritious food and lead, lead active lifestyles. We are working on ways to best use our programs to meet these goals. You may have heard about the People's Garden at USDA, the First Lady's White House Garden. They're raising awareness, setting examples for communities across the nation on healthy eating and reconnecting folks to agriculture. Secretary Vilsack has charged me with leading an interagency initiative to think creatively and dynamically about how USDA can answer the President's call to reinvigorate our local food systems. Through this initiative, I have involved all of the relevant agencies in an examination of our current activities, funding mechanisms, and authorities, as well as the opportunities and obstacles for the creation of a more vibrant regional and local food system. This administration's commitment to healthy eating and the importance of fresh, nutritious food is raising the profile of locally grown food and which can specifically help, I believe, specialty crops. So it's my belief that the future of specialty crops is clear and very bright indeed. My written testimony provides a fairly detailed description of the myriad of programs that can assist small and mid-sized farms. I'm not going through them in detail, but I want to bring your attention to some of the latest news on how USDA is working across agencies to increase coordination and bring targeted resources to critical issues facing young, small, and mid-sized farms. The Secretary and I are both very concerned about what has been described as the disappearing middle. We see from our census data, small farms are actually thriving. We, we're getting some new farmers, actually some women farmers, which I find very interesting and exciting. And the larger enterprises seem to be doing okay, but there's this big swath in the middle of uh, your the small and moderate-sized family farms that are finding it hard to survive in this climate. And we believe taking a local and regional food system approach may help uh, give them the tools they need to survive. Fred Kirschman of the Leopold Center at Iowa State says, creating and expanding markets that value intrinsic qualities such as locally produced holds keys to saving the disappearing segment of agriculture. Community-supported agriculture and farmers markets are um, an area that we're spending a lot of time thinking about. Farmers markets, as the chairman has said, has set the nation on a healthier course. CSAs, um, they're growing, and we think that's important. USDA is also uh, promoting specialty crops through our purchases. We purchased about $650 million in specialty crops in 2008 for domestic nutrition assistance programs, as well as leverage a lot of purchases through the SNAP program, formerly known as Food Stamps, the WIC program, and our own purchases for the school lunch program. 
Overall, we figure that USDA supports the purchase of about $11 billion in fruits and vegetables. Uh, we have a number of programs that we're trying to revamp for um, and, and get on to uh, the 2008 Farm Bill agenda. Some of those were reinvigorated, new language put in, new twists, and some absolutely brand new programs that we're moving very quickly to implement. I see my time is run out. Let me just conclude and then take your questions um, with a few thoughts on the National Organic Program. As you may be aware, I, I have a bit of history with this program, a bit of love for the program. Um, it's the program that you know, regulates how um, products that it carry the organic label, uh, what must be done. Um, we have been doing a lot of uh, very important things since uh, in the very early months. I've been in the job for about three and a half months. In May, we announced that the National Organic Program will be elevated to its own division with a new Senior Executive Service Director, a reform that recognizes the growth and importance of the organic industry. Second, the National Organic Program budget and staff dedicated to enforcement is increasing in size in this fiscal year and the next, ensuring more robust oversight of the standards and aggressive prosecution of wrongdoers. And third, for the first time, the National Organic Program will be subjected to outside audit to ensure rigor and consistency. Three very important reforms that I think will make our program smaller, uh, excuse me, stronger, um, and that will be a, a boost for small and moderate sized farms. So, as we make these improvements, uh, we're going to also stress that the basic standards are well crafted and that the public process for establishing acceptable production materials is, will remain participatory and transparent, and that consumers can continue to buy organic products with confidence. So, in conclusion, Mr. Chairman and members of the subcommittee, I'm proud to be joining the team at USDA to have an opportunity to work with you on these important issues, and I look forward to your questions. Thank you.